We all know who we'd love to see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sign this summer and who his likely prime targets are. All of us want to see a defence of Mateus De Ligt, Kalidou Koulibaly and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. We all want to see Jadon Sancho signed in attack. But as we all know as well, it's not easy to sign the players you want. And every summer with United, sometimes anyway, we have to sign backup players instead. So who would be on United's backup list? Who could United surprise us all by signing instead of those main players we've been linked with? What this video is going to do is run through that list of players who we have been linked with, some tentatively, some more so than not. And I want to know from you if you feel any of them would be a good signing for United as a backup, as an alternative to the main targets we're going after this summer. As always, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down to the bottom, hit that subscribe button, get involved in the community if you are a regular. How are you doing? Drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into this one. Starting off in defence, if De Ligt and Koulibaly are off the cards, and let's be honest, both of them are going to be dif either of them are going to be difficult to complete, then what centre-backs could Ole Gunnar Solskjaer be looking at? No, it's not the summer of 2018, but yes, Harry Maguire and Toby Alderweireld are those centre-backs. Multiple reports in multiple newspapers across the summer already have linked United with both of them. Now, Jose Mourinho wanted Maguire, he wanted Alderweireld, Ed Woodward said no to both. That was the beginning of their fractious relationship. Maybe not the beginning, but certainly the beginning of the end for Mourinho. Yet we're getting linked with both of them again. Harry Maguire, a player who I, I feel splits the opinion a little bit too much because I feel he doesn't get the praise and credit he deserves. He's a very good centre-back. And the thing about United's defence is at the moment, pretty much anybody could come in and improve it. And Harry Maguire would certainly improve United's options as a centre-back. I think he's very good at the moment and has the ability to become better and better. But he would be expensive, 50 million plus. Do you think that would be good value for money? Or should United look somewhere else, maybe an alternative that's cheaper, like Toby Alderweireld, who does have that 25 million release clause because Spurs extended his contract by another year to anybody can sign Alderweireld for only 25 million for an experienced, proven leader in the Premier League. That's very cheap. And if Alderweireld came to United and was at his prime, which he still is, I feel, a very, very good defender, he'd be an excellent signing. But if Alderweireld came and just became injured again like he has been for so long at Spurs, it will be typical. But these are the two main centre-backs, I feel, that United are getting linked with outside of Koulibaly and De Ligt. Now, do you think either of them would be good alternatives? If not, who else? Let me know in the comments below. So, moving on, there's one main right-back that United have been linked with as an alternative, a cheaper alternative, to Crystal Palace's Aaron Wan-Bissaka. And that's Thomas Munier from PSG. Now, the 27-year-old only has one year left on his contract with PSG and is currently valued at around 25 million. So if United didn't want to pay the 50 million plus that Crystal Palace want for Wan-Bissaka, which we absolutely should, by the way, but if we don't, Munier would be a cheaper alternative, which will obviously be exactly what the Glazers want to see happen United fans don't, but would Munier be a good alternative? You know, at 27, PSG, Belgium, he's a top level, top draw right back. He wouldn't be as good as Wan-Bissaka, but my God, he'd be an upgrade on Ashley Young and someone that Diogo Delot could look up to. As I said, I think Delot can be a very good centre-back in the future, but he needs someone above him that he can learn from. And Munier would be a good player in that respect and certainly a little bit cheaper than Wan-Bissaka. Maybe that means we could spend more elsewhere. But do you think that Munier would be a good signing? He's already spoken about United and Juve and Dortmund said that they're beautiful clubs that he would like to join if he is to leave PSG. But what do you think about Munier as an alternative and a backup to Wan-Bissaka? Is he good enough to really improve United or should we be looking at other right backs? If so, who would they be? Now, moving on to central midfield, there's not one, I feel anyway, there's not one central midfielder that we've been heavily, heavily linked with. But we've been linked with a hell of a lot of them, including Ndombele and Didi. Neither of them are mentioned today. You all know I want to sign Ruben Neves from Wolves. I think he'd be the perfect signing. But what are the other alternatives? Let's take a look at three of them here. We've got Ivan Rakitic from Barcelona. We've got Adrian Rabiot from PSG. And we've got Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid. Now, Rakitic, he's over 30. He would be expensive. Reports suggesting 40, 50 million for him, which seems a hell of a lot. And some are saying that Rakitic is over the hill and that we'd just be signing him because 
Barca are signed a better alternative in De Jong and we're just taking Barca's scraps. But remember last summer, Rakitic was at the World Cup, got to the World Cup final and was considered part of the best midfield at the World Cup alongside Luka Modric. Was that all Luka Modric is doing? Or is Rakitic a little bit better than people are giving him credit for? I suppose in the same vein as Harry Maguire. Now, I think Rakitic would be too expensive and is a little bit too old, but maybe that's the experience we need in midfield. As an alternative there, you've got Adrian Rabiot. Could you see Ander Herrera going to PSG on a free transfer? And Adrian Rabiot coming to United on a free transfer? I mean, there's a lot of logic behind it. And I think on paper, Rabiot is a far better technically gifted footballer than Herrera is. So in, te in those terms, it would be an upgrade immediately. But the question marks about Rabiot would be to do with his attitude, which has caused problems at PSG. Maybe is the reason why he's leaving in the first place. Do you think that could be a problem in United's dressing room? Or if you can sign a player of Rabiot's quality on a free transfer, do you just do it and then cope with the consequences? Or do you look towards Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid? He has a 50 million release clause. His agent has confirmed that. 50 million euros, by the way. He is a supremely fit player. And fitness has been a major problem for United's midfield. But having played under Diego Simeone for years, the Ghanaian midfielder is an extremely fit player. And I've said that twice now, but that is what United's midfield needs. Energy, movement. It's so static. It's painful. Now, Partey is very good defensively and also going forward as well. He's not a complete midfielder. And the term box-to-box -box midfielder is a bit overused, but he's that style. He wouldn't really... He's mainly a defensive midfielder, but he's got the ability to bring it forward as well. And he would be a great signing for anybody. Now... I'm going to be doing a video, a full story on Thomas Partey to United next week where I give you a bit more information about him. But what do you think about that? Partey, Rakitic, Rabio, Or would you like to look at Ndidi and Dombele, maybe Tagore from Watford? There's a ton of central midfielders. Or does it all depend on whether United sell Paul Pobre or not? I hope that's not the case because we need a new central midfielder anyway. But out of those options, who's your central midfielder of choice? Then moving on to attack. And what if United cannot sign Jadon Sancho because we don't have Champions League football? Maybe. Can we look towards Hakim Ziyech from Ajax? The 26-year-old is leaving this summer. Ajax have already confirmed this. And he's been sensational for the last couple of years. Won their Player of the Year twice in a row this season as well. And in 29 league appearances for Ajax this year, he got 16 goals and 13 assists. That's incredible. Fantastic return. And he was blisteringly good in the Champions League as well. You could genuinely argue that maybe United's main target should be Hakim Ziyech and not Jadon Sancho. That's how good he is. But there's going to be a host of clubs after him this summer, including Bayern Munich, who have lost Iron Robin and Frank Ribery, both of their main wingers. So maybe Ziyech could move over there. But he would pretty much improve every elite team around Europe. He's that good a player. And if United are going to sign an alternative to Jadon Sancho, that would be a mighty, mighty good signing. And he's only got a 25 million release clause. That's the cruncher. He's going to be the value signing of the summer. Whoever gets him, they're going to be happy with him. Maybe should United be going for him instead of Sancho? Or if not, should we be going for him anyway? Let me know what you think about him in the comments. And then looking on to a final potential surprise signing. Maybe Romelu Lukaku is leaving this summer. That's what reports are suggesting now. And if he goes to Inter Milan, could Inter Milan's main man come in the opposite direction? Mauro Icardi. Icardi, Icardi. You know he's a top-level striker, but he comes with baggage. The 26-year-old is Inter's main man at the moment. But to say he's been the centre of attention is sort of understating it. The Inter captain has fallen out with the fans on multiple occasions, but came back in. And although he only got a, a meagre return of 11 goals in his Serie A season last year in comparison to how he's done previously, no one can deny that he's a top-level striker and a top-level goal scorer. But a bit like Rabiot in midfield, Icardi comes with baggage. And is that the sort of personality that you want to bring into the dressing room? Or would that cause more problems than it's worth? That's the question you have to ask about Icardi. But if United do sell Lukaku, which sounds like a possibility now with Antonio Conte going to Inter and rating Lukaku so highly, would United sign a striker as a replacement? I would like to see Mason Greenwood pushed up the, the pecking order a little bit, but fairly, people commented on that saying that that wouldn't be enough for United. Rashford and Greenwood, 
We need more than that, especially if Sanchez goes, which I fucking hope he does. But Icardi, do you think he would be a good signing? Or with the problems I mentioned there, do you think United would be best looking elsewhere? So that's eight players there who United have been linked with, some tentatively, some more so than others. But the likes of Maguire, Alderweireld, Munier, Rakitic, Partey, Rabio, Ziyech, Icardi, would any of them be a good signing for United? I want to know what you think about this in the comments below because we all know who we want. I'd love to sign De Ligt and Koulibaly. What a centre-back partnership that would be. I want Wan-Bissaka. I want Neves and I want Sancho. But sometimes you don't get what you want in a transfer window. It's complicated. There's a lot of clubs going after the same sort of players. So who maybe will United settle for as alternatives? Here's a list of eight players, but if there's none I've mentioned there that you think we should be looking at, let me know in the comments below as always. Now, if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, I like that. Subscribe down below as well. Hit the notifications bell and get involved. Until next time, take it easy.